Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna start a little vlog. go to the bookstore because today is independent bookstore day or something like that it's like indie bookstore some type of indie bookstore day and so we're gonna go to the bookstore that's our little local indie bookstore name it's called plenty uh, downtown bookshop or something like that <laughs> I can't remember exactly the name I always call it the plenty bookstore but it's called plenty downtown bookstore I'm pretty sure or bookshop something like that and I'll take y'all along with me and for whatever I can because I mean they're having lots of event stuff in there so I may not confirm we'll see but um, I also wanted to come on here and show y'all what I'm reading right now. Uh, Nicole Deese's The Roads We Follow. This is book two after The Words We Lost. So we'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, I just walked out the door. So I had a package and it's got like my first and last initial. So I know this is a gift from someone. Y'all, my birthday's next week and I cannot, I cannot. I just love book mail, gifted book mail. I love y'all so, so much. I'm going to be 34 on May the 3rd. So we'd love to see. I don't know when you're seeing this video though. So. But tonight is also the reading sprints on Chrissy's channel. I hope I look okay. I haven't washed my hair. Sorry. The grease pit is here. I washed it yesterday morning and I still get greasy hair the next day. It is what it is. But uh, I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I'm here. But this reading sprints tonight over on Chrissy's channel, I shared it in my community tab. So it will have done past by now. But I'm so, so excited for that. So we'll have a little clip of that too. Tested out the StreamYard stuff this morning. Looks like we're good to go. And um, I'll be reading The Roads We Follow tonight. That's definitely what I'm gonna be reading unless I finish it before then, but probably not because it's a physical read and um, this releases next week. So real quick, I'll tell y'all what this is about. I'm like this much in, okay, I'm on chapter six or something. This daughter of a country music star named Reagan Farrow. She's really wanting to publish her first book, but she doesn't want her name tied to her mother because of like the big name she has in um, country music and stuff. So she doesn't want that to like, influence people to buy her book she wants to kind of stand on her own right with her own name and make up a pen name so you start off with her like meeting with a publisher and stuff and they're like really encouraging her more so to use her real name and use that status that she has with her mom to try to get the publicity and the pr and all that stuff out there for her book he says her book's great and, but you know it's just really hard marketing wise to get seen and everything and so she's not really wanting to do that so then we cut to her mom and sisters and everything there's some drama kind of going on with them and there's some issues going on with her sister and like custody custody type stuff with her sister's kids and things like that so we're kind of seeing some of that unfold and her sister's really upset because things didn't go so well with the court date that she had so there's some family stuff going on there but then her mom brings in this like this big bus and it's like we're going on this road trip girls also reagan hears a rumor about her mom and someone writing a biography about the family uh, like a tell-all about their family and she doesn't really believe it but you know there's an unknown author that's gone to great lengths to remain anonymous before it goes public to publication so she's trying to like figure that stuff out but she chooses to keep that kind of a secret from her sisters because they're kind of scandal leery <laughs> about it and they end up going on this two-week road trip okay not only that, we see the other point of view in this is Micah. Micah Davenport. I'm kind of looking at the backyard to keep the name straight. But he is hired as the bus driver. And he actually has this, like, hidden agenda of his own. Like, the, his mother and her mother were acquaintances of some sort. And she feels really bad about stuff. So, she's wanting to, you know, uh, let him in as the... Uh, bus driver you know he kind of asked hey do you have a driver and she's like oh I'd love for this to honor your mom's memory because she had passed away and so he ends up being the bus driver and I think there's gonna be a romance between Reagan and Micah it sounds like so I've just kind of get out into all of this um, but Micah he is somebody in there what is all this noise y'all he's loud oh he's out of my motorcycle honey anyway Micah has like a hidden agenda as well involving both of their mothers because like I said, they had like some history and past. He wants to figure out things about his mother's past because as soon as you're introduced to the book, you find out that he realizes that his dad was not his real dad and his mother was keeping a secret. And so he wants to know everything about 
his mom's past and who his real dad is and all this stuff. And there's this old box of journals and stuff um, that's been uh, kept away that he needs to get to. And so this is all the key to that for him. And so they embark on this road trip. I'm excited to kind of see what happens. And again, the roads they follow and the answers that they seek. Okay. So that's where I'm at with stuff. Let's open this package. Can I open this package, honey? Am I going to take my keys out? Probably. Let's see. Let's see, y'all. Because keys are the best way to open up the gift. Let's see who the kind soul was to send me something. I mean, I love y'all. Don't ever feel like you have to send anybody anything. You know what I'm saying? I love gift giving, though. It's my language. So I know, I know how y'all feel. <laughs> so let's turn the car back on because your girl's going to be hot. So we got this open. And it's wrapped. Somebody didn't, y'all didn't have to wrap this. Oh my gosh. Yes. We love to see it. There's two books in here wrapped. Yay. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the tags and see who sent this. Okay, starting my car, got everything out of whack with the Bluetooth, so I had to turn the Bluetooth off. But there's nothing on this tag. Oh my gosh, tell me there's a note. Tell me there's a note. Is there nothing on, there's nothing on this tag either. Oh my gosh, wait. Tell me there's something in here. Tell me I'm gonna know who did this. <laughs> okay, keep your gift for surprise. Okay, let's open the, open the gifts first. How about that? In my car, open up these books. <laughs> my neighbors are probably like, is she talking to herself? What? Because there's a lot of people out here. Like, I'm like, uh, <laughs> I've gotten used to it though. I don't care. Let's see. Oh, I love this. I love these bags. I love reusing these bags, by the way. They're like a gift in, in itself. So, let's see. I might know who sent this. I might know who sent this. I might know who sent this. Girl, you did not. Okay, first off, we got In Pieces by Rhonda Ortiz. Let me just say, this is book one in the Molly Chase series and Tammy at the Protagonist Pub. Girl, she loves this book. She loves this book. And I. she's been telling me I need to read it. And I've been saying I need to read it. And I had it on my wish list. I am so excited to read this. This is set in Boston, 1793, and it says, certain things ruin a girl's reputation, and madness is one. Oh my goodness. Beautiful and artistic, the only daughter of a prominent merchant, Molly Chase cannot help but attract the notice of a Federalist Boston. Oh, notice of Federalist Boston. I can't read synopsis. Um, especially it's men. But she carries a painful secret. Her father committed suicide and she found his body. Oh no, we got some we got some stuff. Uh this ain't good. Okay. Her, now nightmares plague her day and night at, at addling her mind. Molly needs a home, a nurse, and time to grieve and to find new purpose in life. But she, when she moves in with her friends, the robs, spiteful society gossips assume the worst. And when an imprudent decision leads to public scandal, Molly is tempted to take the easy way out. A marriage of convenience! Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh, I love marriage of convenience, yes. I hope my neighbors sound like, what's she done? <laughs> yes, merchant sailor Josiah Robb is familiar to Molly as a brother, as dear as, as that exasperating, yet she is no sister to him. He hopes to marry her before anyone else does, but, this, but sailing the high seas leaves no time for convincing Molly that he is more than her teasing childhood friend. Josiah wants a new job and a fresh start, and when he agrees to carry a confidential letter to President Washington, hey, his life is forever changed. Okay, these long, long time friends discover new intimacy, but, but slander, confusion, absence, and a wealthy con conniving bully stand between them. And with French spies on the loose, they not only have to rescue their reputations and they have to protect their lives, I am here for this. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Before we open the other one, let me see. Is this? Is this? I do it, Tammy. Oh my gosh, Tammy. Thank you, sister. Oh my gosh. Surprise. Thought you might enjoy this. And it really made me think of you when I saw it. Your ready smile and chatty conversation are bright spots in my day. Love you. Tammy, protagonist pub. I love you, girl. All right, let's open another one real quick. I didn't, there might be another note in there for this other book. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh! The Jane Austen Escape Room book. Sister! Pride and Prejudice and Puzzles. That's what this note goes for. There, there'll be another note in there for the other book. Puzzle number one. Oh my gosh! Tammy! Thank you! I'm so excited. This is beautiful. Let's go. There's a map. It's like puzzles. Puzzle number two. And it tells a story. The guarded maze. 
Oh my gosh, your girl needs to know. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Let's see. There's probably another note in here for this book. Let's see. There might not be. Let's see. Yeah, there is. Okay. I know you don't have time to physically read right now, but I couldn't help myself. I hope your birthday's filled with love, laughter, and joy. Love you. Tammy, love you, girl. Thank you so much. This means so much to me. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I filmed opening this because I haven't done that in a while uh, whenever I've gotten something. I also got something recently from a subscriber named Krista and it was Juniper Bean Resorts to Murder and I sent like a little thank you card back like you can scan the thing and send it back. So thank you so much Krista for that as well. I really appreciate you doing that and sending me that. That made my day as well because I love that book and I've been wanting a physical copy for my shelf. So that I really appreciate that as well. So thank you so much for these and I am really excited. <laughs> <laughs> look, Rhonda Ortiz, look, I've been hearing nothing but good things, and you know, I'm probably gonna love this. This sounds like an Amanda book. It really does. So, y'all, we starting to vlog off right, are we not? We are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, I'm about to message Timmy right now and say, girl, just did a whole vlog clip on this, and you can't wait for you to see it, and thank her so, so much. So, anyway, that's kind of the update right now. Let's go to the bookstore.
I hope that y'all can hear me or, you know, the wind's not blowing in, but yay, got some good stuff. Um, got some gifts because my friend Miriam is actually coming in. Miriam from Miriam Elizabeth Braids coming through Tennessee in a couple weeks. So I'll, we'll definitely be posting a picture of that. So I'm going to get to meet her. And I was like, y'all, I have got to go and get a gift for her at our local bookstore. And they were doing a fun, oh, there's that wind, honey. Fun little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like if you spend a hundred dollars, you got like a fun mug or something. So did I spend a hundred gifts? But I will do a little haul as soon as we get into the car. <laughs> but I love our little downtown area. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. And I didn't get to show you a whole lot, but I'm kind of in a crunch time. So I should have walked over here. <laughs> kind of in crunch time. So just trying to head to the bookstore and go back home because you know the hubs. I don't want to have to keep him you know by, by himself with little man too long because he's gonna be in so we can do those sprints and everything this evening so um yeah I want to make sure I you know am mindful about that and his time as well and I know it's a lot with little man sometimes so yeah so so appreciative of the hubs filling in during these times like this <laughs> so I can like fill my cup and y'all saw they had some Savannah Scott honey did I buy another one of hers because it was signed in there yes because <laughs> i already had so many books that day but we'll do a little haul here in a second <laughs> okay i hope y'all loved the book uh bookstore the clips <laughs> and stuff really excited that y'all i could like take some clips in there there really wasn't too many people in there it was kind of busy but i was able to like film some things so they had still had some savannah scott's books in there i love that that means people in our area are gonna get to read her love that so so much but let's just talk about what i bought so i picked up founds of silence by ruta sepetis this is a um secular historical fiction book and it's set in madrid 1957 and so i'm really excited about reading more of her books i own i've only read actually one of hers and it was between shades of gray and it was so emotional i loved it many years ago so yeah she actually ruta sepetis was actually here at this bookstore and i didn't get to like go to that event it was a ticketed event and i really haven't read a lot of her books recently so i wasn't as interested to go to that event but um i want to try to read more of her books so that if she comes back to town which i'm sure she will that i can you know kind of go to that event and um if i really enjoyed her books and stuff so yeah there's that one and then um, i also picked up another one of her books called salt to the sea this is set in winter 1945 this is four refugees four secrets and each one born of a different homeland each one hunted and haunted by tragedy lies and war so she like i said she has some very emotional hard-hitting books from uh of historical fiction and i have like i said i enjoyed between shades of gray i saw like a baby but um i have to be right in the heads the right head space for these but i know they're gonna be good i've heard they're great and then picked up battleship okay autographed copy by savannah scott i've already read this wanted to add it to my shelves so i can continue to recommend it it was definitely one of my favorites i love rob and laura so yeah they also had friendship in there uh i think i took a little clip um the also fictional fall that she had several copies of that and then i think first one in a love tripping series i can't remember the name of that but it's like the beach um title so yeah it's like a road trip i can't remember the title but anyway <laughs> she had, they had several of her books in there so i love that sorry my phone i can't hardly see it because i'm like a reading now y'all seen this in here and my friend caitlin read this recently so i'm gonna take a risk on it and it's called everyone on this train is a suspect uh by benjamin stevenson and it was at this point when she realized this is book two in a series. <laughs> is this book two? <laughs> Did I buy book two? It's signed. Can I read this without reading the other one? Okay, hold on. We're going to find that out. Okay. Right? We figured it out. Not me picking up book two in a series, not realizing. Okay, anyway. Uh, but she recently read this one, and book one is actually everyone in my family has killed someone. I know there's language in this. This is definitely a secular book. I want to try it out and see what I think, um, but I'm going to have to like, give it book one, probably. But I don't know if I can read this without reading book one. We'll see. It does have a quote from Stuart Turton on the back that says, Clever, satisfying, impossible to put down, gloriously inventive, fantastic. Books like this are why we love reading. So he's the one who wrote Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. So if it's i'm not littered with the language i'll be fine but um yeah we'll just have to wait and see how this goes so yeah i'm probably going to try to find book two though or book one sorry um just to make sure I, I can read that first but this is a 
signed edition as well. We'll scribble there for his signature. But anyway, so that's what I got there. And then I also picked up, uh, what I pick up, I got this actually because I spent $100 and it said sip, read, and repeat. Love this. You know, coffee going in that immediate. Some iced coffee, honey, maybe some tea, who knows. And then um, I ain't gonna show y'all these other two things because I got that from Miriam. <laughs> I don't want her to say this because it's before she comes. So, but I did pick up um, a shirt for myself love this it's got plenty i'm probably gonna wear this in the sprints tonight plenty uh with like the little typewriter on it for independent bookshop day 2024 and on the back it has a victor hugo quote to learn to read is to light a fire every syllable that is spelled out is a spark love this so yeah that's my little haul y'all with the things i could show y'all you know what i'm saying so yay i hope that y'all enjoyed this little haul and um I kind of want to go by Books of Man to see if I can find book one in this. Just because I'm going to be in a mystery mood soon. I have not read a ton of mysteries lately and I I need to. I didn't read enough in March Mr. Madness, so we're here. This is such a random video. Like, what is this? I think I may actually use this video for Monday and push out my um, Sherlock Holmes book tag video that I filmed. I'll just schedule that another day. That's one that Miriam tagged me in. So I'm gonna run to Books of Man before I go home and see if they have that book and we'll see. And then maybe I might add a few more things for Miriam's box. See, Miriam lives in Canada. And I told her, I said, girl, I'm putting you in a little box together. Might even use this box, who knows, of things because I hate that how much shipping costs to send anything to Canada. So I had sent her something one time, a couple times before, but shipping is usually like 30 bucks. So while she's here, I'm like, girl, gift giving is something I absolutely love to do. So that's what we're doing here. <laughs> okay. So uh, since she is stopping here and making time for me, that's what I like to do and give people things. So I cannot wait to see her. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know. I don't really want to spend a lot of time doing like the vlog stuff while I could be spending time with her, but maybe we could have like a minute or two clips or something like that. Just um showing you know all that stuff so if she's comfortable with that <laughs> i haven't seen it yet girl but hey you know me i like to do my vlog clips so anyway all right yeah <laughs> i will update y'all later too much for me but because I purchased book one or book two and didn't realize I need book one there we go so yeah I've got it and if I don't like it I can just get rid of it on Pango books I'm sure it'll sell quick so yeah testing the waters a little bit y'all with some stuff see what kind of books I like uh, back in my thriller bag thriller or uh, mystery bag so we'll see all right that's it for right now I'll be back all right y'all so updates I just got home I'm gonna eat Zaxby's a salad here in a minute, but I wanna give you an update. I had some book mail when I got home, which you know, the post office just ran, would love to see it on Saturday. And I have a couple other books I bought that I forgot to tell you. And I finished reading a Mandy Blake last night that I forgot to tell y'all about. So first off, let's talk about the Mandy Blake. This was Love in the Storm. Book two comes out, Love for a Lifetime in May. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and read Love in the Storm. I like give this four and a half out of five stars book. Mandy Blake's stories are just the cutest Christian romances that are just the fluff I need, the cute cheese that I need, sweet romances, always the what I need at the time, okay? I'm not someone who loves a quick romance, but I'm gonna tell you, I said her a voice memo, I said, Mandy, I am not someone with quick romances usually, but you get me every time, and that is so true. Like, the way she writes it, they could meet, fall in love in like two weeks, and I'm still here for it, because the way she writes this, these books are just like, 
chef's kiss for me. It's the interactions. It's the, the emotions. It's the characters with depth. I personally love it. So this was a quick, quick romance, but I will tell you, I still loved it. I like it four and a half out of five stars. I highly recommend it. It was a snowed in type story, which I love a good forced proximity snowed in trope. Okay, look here. They in like some cabin type stuff. Look here. Let's go. I mean, look at this. Yes. Okay. This is about a girl named Lyric and the guy was named Asa. The names were so much fun. I've never heard of these names. So Lyric, she's been sober for years, probably five years now, but I think 10 years ago, she was arrested by none other than police officer Asa, who is the guy who snowed in with her, okay? He don't remember her, but she remembers he was the police officer who arrested her in her not so good times of life. And yet she has been sober for five years. She's a new Christian and just so, so excited about her journey with the Lord, her relationship with the Lord, learning how to pray. She's a totally changed, transformed person. And she is getting to know Asa in this whole locked in, pro, you know, like snowed in forced proximity type romance. And they, they quickly start to really like each other. And I loved it. It was good. It was so good. And they had this layer of depth, these characters, because it wasn't just like basic Betty characters, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> okay. They were not basic Betty. Okay. They were realistic readers. Okay. <laughs> what you know they were realistic okay like you know lyric is gone through these hard times and a character anybody who's went through that will be ministered to in this book you know if they you know are a new creation in christ this was such an like a good story for that and then asa his his wife had passed away four years ago from cancer and he has a son and and he is he's just a single dad which i love a single dad trope by the way and he, he hasn't really even thought about love again until he meet he meets lyric and he's he's still kind of like you know struggling through some emotions of that and the grief that he's had over the last four years of not having her you know him and his son trying to just make it like there's all these things I loved it. I loved it. So, I mean, the faith content was so good. It was just one of those feel good stories. And I was just here for the ride. It's one of those, if you need it at the time, pick up a Mandy Blake. If you're looking for something that's happy and going to make you feel good, read Mandy Blake. That's my, that's where I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm sticking to it. Okay. So I had to tell y'all about that. And, oh, this is sitting here. This was the book that my um, sweet friend Krista sent me this. Uh, Jennifer Bean Resorts to Murder. Gracie Ruth Mitchell. And this is beautiful in person. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite books. I, I, I love this. I give it four and a half. I think out of five stars. Aiden and Juniper. Let's go. So, it was so much fun. It's like a rom-com um, meets mi murder mystery type stuff. It was so much fun. But I have the, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's falling on the floor. I have the note, okay, in the book, and it said, happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, hope you feel better soon, thank you for all your content on YouTube from Krista, so again, thank you, Krista, for that, I really appreciate you and all of your support, and let's talk about what I got in the mail just now, so actually, I got this one, a, a groom of one's own, a sweet hockey rom-com by Emma St. Clair, this is a clean rom-com, so excited, and I uh, to pick this up because my friend Lindsay Lemus, she's rom-com girly, rom-com queen, and she really enjoyed this, so that's why I bought it. And now we got the matching. Look, ah, what y'all know? Look at this. Honey, they met. Look at this. Look at this. Romancing the Grump. Love me a good grump. Okay, I'm sorry. Grumpy Sunshine has become top tier for me, Jenny Proctor. So if you're looking for a fun, clean rom coms, closed door type stuff, you know, this, this these are it you know they are gonna make you laugh all the good things i've not read these so i can't attest to content yet but i know they're gonna be a good time my friends really liked it so yeah i think Lindsay lemus gave this one four stars and i can't remember if she gave this one four or five but either way i know that they're gonna be fun and so i just really wanted to own them on my shelf oh my gosh the spines the colors yes we love the appies okay the appies hockey team let's go okay and i need to read still need to read jenny's um oh what is it in the sweater other series. I haven't done that yet. So this vlog is gonna be so long. I'm so excited. I have all the content in the world for today. Okay, <laughs> so speaking of which, I did get another book in the mail that I ordered and it was Night Falls at Predicament Avenue by Jamie Jo Wright. This is her newest release. And I saw where she sent an email, like her newsletter, saying that if you purchased one of her books of her backlist, you could fill out a form. The first 50 people would get like a little swag pack from her. 
So I purchased this because I needed to buy it anyway. And I thought, well, that's cool. She'll send like a little swag pack probably in the next six weeks. So that's fun, like bookmarks and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. So excited about this one. I didn't read it for a review just because I had so much going on. And so, um, and look at me telling y'all, I'm, I'm going back on my word here. I did say I wasn't going to buy any more of her books or Rosanna M. White books until I read the back list. Oops. <laughs> Oops, but you know, don't, don't, in, don't tempt me with a swag pack. Okay, that's all I'll say. And it was only $12, maybe 11 let's go. So anyway, um, but I did also get a little mini tiered bookshelf. That, look at here. I know that I'm going to be setting up. Okay, it's one of those that have like slits like this and this, and then it goes like this and this, and I don't know when I'm going to put it together, where I'm going to put it. I think I got space, but we're going to find a place. <laughs> I wanted my rom-coms to go on that because I'm kind of really wanting to like collect some of these rom-coms just because I really don't want to keep a Kindle Unlimited forever. I just want to like own them, own these books, and then the rate I read is just like I'm not going to read them. So I'm, I'm only wasting Kindle Unlimited money. So I'm just trying to like, as I have like gift cards and things, like I had a gift card and that's why I got these, these two here, uh, by the MSN Claire and Jenny Proctor. So yeah. All right. Now there's something else. The last thing I'll show you guys that I got is a package in the mail and it also has Amanda with my last initial so this is a gift so thank you let's see what this is and again like I said don't ever feel like you have to send anything I just I appreciate anyone who does but I don't want anybody to feel pressure for that because I'm not that kind of person but I love gift giving as well so I'm over here buying, buying gifts and then come home have some gifts so oh girl hey girl her birthday next week too uh, it said, happy birthday, Amanda. I love you so much. And I'm thankful you're in my life. Playing, praying, playing, girl. I can't read. Praying blessings over you this year and always. Jordan at Bookish Gym. Hey, girl. Look at this. A paper basham. I love this cover. This is a cute little novella. Yes. But the Between Stairs and Stardust. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you. Y'all check out her channel if you haven't. Um, she just has such a bubbly personality. So, and she's moving to Tennessee soon. So, Hey girl, we'll have to meet up sometime, okay? So there's that. So excited, so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love that. I'll have to send her a message. I'm gonna put that note right here in this book so I don't lose it. So yay. Another pepper basham to add to the collection because we love a good pepper basham around here. So thank you. I'm so excited. Ooh. All these books, where am I gonna put them? Okay, <laughs> figure that out, figure that out. But um, all my Savannah Scott books and stuff are still sitting here and got nowhere to be put. So Mandy Blake books need a place, you know, because they're like indie published and they all feel the kind of the same except banana peel. So 10 more minutes of filming. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, this ain't even gonna hard to have no reading. It's just book hauls, bookstore, all that stuff. I mean, I already had 30 minutes of content before I even filmed this, so I have to cut down some of it. But anyway, yeah. Um, I hope y'all are having a great day whenever you're watching this, and I'll be back. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we appreciate the hubs putting our shelf together here. Let me kind of zoom out a little bit. Ignore my closet. It's filled with junk. Anyway, you can kind of see we got this little box down here. How cute is this? Love this. I need to put some more of my love inspired books in there. But got that. And I've got the random devotional. Well, there's my kid. I have to run in there in a minute. Uh, <laughs> got the Izzy. I'm going to put Loyally Luke on there. Becca Kinzer. Got a little free space right there. I need to get some more rom-coms uh, to put there. And then uh, Courtney Walsh. Gracie Ruth Mitchell, some Mandy Blake, okay, the whole Wolf Creek Ranch series. <laughs> yes, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, anyway, yeah, there you go. And then over here, we've got Jenny Proctor, Emma St. Clair, Savannah Scott. Okay, that didn't sound good. And then we've got more Courtney Walsh, Savannah Scott, Emma St. Clair, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I will link this shelf down below. It's very easy to put together. Didn't take too, too long. All right, y'all, coming in, we have got stuff for the pasta salad. I've got this pasta cooling in some cold water for my pasta salad. And we've got some banana peppers, banana pepper juice in the bottom, and some um, tomatoes, cucumbers, mozzarella cheese, mini, mini pepperonis. I could put more stuff in here, but it's kind of what I got at the moment. I'm going to put some of this Old Garden light Italian dressing in here. It is about 5.30, and in about an hour, we're doing the breeding sprint, so I'm trying to get a meal ready for the hubs. This was the cup that I got y'all from the bookstore for spending that money today. <laughs> so I already have my last copy in the honey, you know. Got it as soon as I got home, washed it, ready to go. 
So yeah, just waiting to put this in here, let it cool off a little bit. Um, I have to do a couple rinses. Uh, my sink's full, so I didn't want to like use a strainer and let the water run over it just because. So yeah. Well, we're not done yet, and y'all know I gotta do her call sign because it wouldn't be her if I didn't do it. Big <laughs> Diddy. But, 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 Becky Way! Alright y'all, so the reading sprints went so good. I had the best time and I'm so thankful that the hubs filled in on Watch Our Little Man for me because I never get to do anything like this and it just meant so much. If you want to watch the replay, the link will be below. There was a lot of good times that we spent 30 minutes just chatting about books. I even grabbed like a whole stack of books off my shelf for the recommendations, honey. Uh, somebody said, what's your favorite Christian fiction? Honey, I went and got a stack. <laughs> Don't y'all tempt me with the questions, okay? But it was so much fun with Chrissy, Lindsay Lemus. We're pretty sure Lindsay needs a channel now. I loved that she popped in. We love to see it. Sky, she made an appearance as well. And of course, T. So she T actually has a book coming out, if y'all didn't know, in June. I'm pretty sure it was June. Sorry, girl, if I'm wrong. But I'll link it down below. I'm so excited about reading it. She sent me an early copy. I definitely be reading it this summer. It's called Fishing for Love and uh, author is T. Williams. I loved her Christmas book last year. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. But it was just the best time with friends, fellowship on Chrissy's channel. So thank you, Chrissy, for hosting that. I love that. Just so thankful for everybody and just to catch up with everyone. And you know, it's one of these things like reading sprints and just chatting uh, live like this means so much, especially like when you don't have a lot of like in real life interactions about books and things like that, or have like an in real life book club or anything like that. Like, thank God for virtual interactions like this, because it just, it makes a difference and you really feel connected to the community in that way. I wish I could do more lives on my own channel, but it's just like not possible right now. And maybe at some point we'll have like a one-time thing, you know, if the hubs could feel it again, but y'all, little man didn't want to go to bed. It's like he knew I wasn't there. <laughs> so even with some of the melatonin, he didn't get all his melatonin in like he usually does. And <sighs> he didn't fall asleep till 10 o'clock, maybe 10, 15. And normally he's like an eight thirty nine, you know? So, I appreciate the hubs so, so much for that and I had to pop off a little bit just to kind of check in anyway. So update as far as this goes, uh, the roads we follow. I went on the sprints from page, I tabbed a few things in here, a few quotes and stuff, but um, it was like page 72 or something all the way to page 227. So I'm loving this book, you guys. It's probably gonna be four and a half at least, four, four and a half stars. We'll see about the very end, but I don't have much left, got that much left. So, um, really excited about this one chapter 18. And so this story has just been very, very interesting to me. We've taken this journey on the bus. I think that's the last time I updated y'all was like, they were traveling on by bus and it, it's like the mom and the three sisters or three daughters, three, three sisters. Okay. Words. I, my brain is mush now, but <laughs> she says, Hey, we're going to go take a road trip. And like I said, you know, we've got Micah. He has stepped in as the driver and he is there really to find answers to who is his real dad. And so he's reading these journals from his mother who had passed away. Both of their moms, his mom and her mom, they were bandmates back in the day and they had a falling out. And so you're learning about the falling out. You're learning that about like just their journey. And like, there was like a really nice section about their baptisms that was just beautiful and their faith journeys a little bit and the struggles that they had on the road and things like that in the journal entries. And then in uh, real time, you're seeing the characters just process through their emotions and things. He's a therapist. So he kind of like, it's like 
reading her a little bit too because there's a lot of like family dynamics with the sisters one of the sisters is like a control freak has to feel like she has to take care of everything and is like the band family manager we'll say and the other sister's going through like a divorce and has two kids and her husband is marrying this 20 something year old girl so there's just a lot of trauma going on with her and then of course we got reagan our main girl in this that is writing her story and just trying to figure everything out and what i really love is like Micah the interactions he just had with her I tabbed up one thing like they're having a lot of great interactions and I tabbed this right here um like the main sister's like I don't want to talk about this you know I'm trying to take care of business you know I don't want to hear anything about your 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 writing unless you know it's, it has something important to do with something else you know like she just don't want anything to do with it she's calling her hobby it's just a hobby right but Micah says you are more than a hobbyist want to know how I know he uh you care too much a hobby you can pick up and put down without a second thought, but a calling is part of who you are, part of a purpose God made you to fulfill. I absolutely love that he's encouraging her on her author journey as well. So like seeing them get to know each other is wonderful and we're getting a little bit closer to figure out who his real dad is and a lot more information about both of their mothers on their like music journey and soon to figure out, I think, what the falling out was about. So I'm just here for it. I'm here for all the details. Reagan's also got her own little plan here devised to combat the uh, secret manuscript somebody's writing about her family trying to do a tell-all. You know, like I said, somebody's trying to do a tell-all about their family. There's a lot going on in this. Okay, I don't even know if I've explained it well, but there is a lot happening. But I really love just the family dynamic. I, I really like our main characters together. And I, I, I mean... I, I'm here for the romance. It's super sweet. They've almost kissed. Not yet. So, we'll see. Um, kind of getting to know each other and everything. And um, I love, he, he like, <laughs> texts her. He's like, I believe in you, sunshine. You've got this. Like, I just, I absolutely love this. And I love what she's about to do to combat the craziness that's going down. This is such a great book so far. And I'll let y'all know the final thoughts tomorrow. Hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow. It is currently like 1130 my time. So I'm going to try to put up some of these books that are all over my bed right now. I love that you guys want to finish this book tomorrow. Probably the last clip that you see. But uh, yeah, I had so much fun. Like I said, on the sprints. I'm so grateful for this community and for you all. And yeah, I just love y'all so, so much. So yeah, I'll update y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all. So sitting in front of my new little shelf here. Uh, finished The Roads We Follow by Nicole Dees. Today is Sunday. So this video is going to come out tomorrow. It's kind of a surprise vlog. We love to see it. Didn't really plan on doing a vlog this weekend, but we did. Uh, just all the things we were doing. And I love this book so much. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I probably will round it up to five on Goodreads. It's like an honorable mention of my favorite of the year this year. I absolutely love this book. It was just filled with beautiful reconciliation among sisters and just family in general. And two families have collided. And it was just beautiful to see the past kind of come forth in the present. And this romance that blossomed with Micah and Reagan. Oh my goodness. I was tearing up in the end. <laughs> I was sending messages to my friends. I love this so much. That's all I can say. I love how things came to the forefront in the end and they worked through their problems and our main character uh, Reagan really just kind of came into her own and realized that she was kind of just accommodating to everyone else around her and she like truly prayed through these things and you know asked the Lord to help her in her circumstances and the travel aspects was fun <laughs> it was so funny because I was like I don't even know where they're, they're headed to well we're actually seeing them go here's a map in the front we see them go from Nashville all the way um, to Idaho. And so, you know, they cross through Arkansas, Memphis, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, um, looks like uh, New Mexico and California and all these different places to get to Idaho. And it was just a fun road trip story. So if you're someone who likes a good faith-filled story, this is a good one to pick up with a great road trip. Families coming to reconciliation, a cute romance, a story about, you know, two country music stars back in the day and just how they fell out of their friendship and their band, but how the Lord still brings restoration and healing no matter what the circumstances in the end. And there is forgiveness. Um, it just, I don't know, it just was so good. Nicole Dees can tell a phenomenal story. I tabbed up a few things. There was a few things in the end I didn't have my tabs with me that I wish I could have tabbed up because I loved some of the quotes with the faith and um, just 
truly seeing our characters pray through things as well. And um, I just, I loved it. And so, uh, especially like where things kind of landed with Micah on his journey to find his bi biological dad and, you know, talking through things with his, the man who raised him and just all these different things that on that side of the, of the story, it was just beautiful. And then Reagan as an author and just seeing her grow and develop through that. So, and then of course the relationship with the sisters, there was just so much in this. So I highly recommend this. You can, in my opinion, read this separately because there is nothing about book one in this that I can remember. So yeah, I think you, I'm fairly like 99% you could read this because I don't remember anything that stood out to me from book one. So um, yeah, I just I highly recommend this series. The first one was a little more grief heavy. This one was a little bit less grief heavy, but more of these characters going on this journey emotionally and literally <laughs> the roads we follow, right? And so they find the answers that they seek and it was just a beautiful story. So highly recommend. This releases this week, so make sure you check this out. Okay, Nicole Deese, she can tell you a great story. So that's it for this vlog. I'm getting ready to film my Southern Charm Marinathon TBR. I think I may film it sitting here. <laughs> so you probably see me in this shirt on Thursday. So Thursday's video is going to be the May TBR. I'm super excited. It's going to be filled with books from the 24 and 2024 list. Okay. Plus a buddy read a couple arcs I need to get done in May and we'll see what else happens. <laughs> we'll see what else I can get into in May. So yeah, I'm so excited for May. I'm going to be off Friday and Monday for my birthday. So I'm really excited. Me and my mom are going to go hang out on Friday. Friday. The hubs and I are going to have a day to ourselves on Saturday and we'll just kind of see what the rest of the week holds. So I will be vlogging again this weekend for my birthday vlog. So excited about that. I really appreciate you all so, so much and all the support you've given here on the channel and just for the Southern Charm Marathon. So yeah, uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's chat below as always in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.